What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Beginner Bike Giveaway Series. Today we're chopping off the tail on the Triumph Street Triple R. We're gonna be cleaning it up a little bit, so let's get into it. So as many of you know, this is our giveaway Triumph Street Triple along with our Yamaha XSR 700 and a KTM Duke 390. Yes, we're giving away this motorcycle. It's pretty fast and pretty nice. It doesn't really fall into the beginner bike category, but it's still a sweet bike anyways. Check out the link below on yaminoob.co to see how you can get entered to win this motorcycle or feel free to pick out a piece of Yaminoob merch on yaminoobmerch.com. Every dollar you spend gets an entry to win. Uh, spike, I think this bike is, you know, one of the few bikes that we've had in the shop where it doesn't need a whole lot, what do you think? Yeah, no, this bike is basically done from Triumph. Uh, it's just ready to rip. The only thing that you could conceivably need on it is an exhaust. I personally think it's a little overkill. And then just cleaning this tail end up is basically the last thing yeah. that you'd ever have to do to it. I agree, I think the mirrors are set really well. I like the levers. Um, you know, tank grips as well would be my only other addition to this bike, just because you do slide around a little bit on it. But other than that, it's pretty much good to go. Um, it's a pretty sweet bike. So today we're gonna be installing this tail tidy, then getting it out on the road and riding it around for a little bit. So let's get started. So, first thing's seat's first gotta come seat. off, yep. yeah, as usual. Boom. Also, this looks pretty simple. Just a couple, four bolts right here, cut out from the frame there yeah we'll have to pull out some of these wires here to get at our um to get out at, at our indicators because we are preserving the stock indicators but oh it's one of those systems yeah it's one of those systems uh but they're all just right here so we'll pull that screw out mm -hmm. this will come out and then we'll just unplug and go sweet did i get it right on the first try no i did not damn it Pop these bolts off. By the way, our magnet on a stick broke. How did you break a magnet on a stick? I didn't break it, it just broke. I was using it, it snapped off the tip of it. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we need another one. Would you mind grabbing me the needle on those pliers, by the way? Yes. Just, I feel like. This is exactly the situation where you might want a magnet on a stick? Yeah. And out it comes. That's it. I like how right here, it says Triumph. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. And there it is though. I'm sure we'll want to retain this rubber mount. That thing came out quick. Yeah. Four bolts and that's it. So we are going to have to harvest the turn signal. So we got to mm -hmm. take that down to bits, but. Yeah. That shouldn't, shouldn't be, be too bad. bad. <laughs> we both jinxed ourselves now. Yep. Seems like quite a lot of wires and connections in there. Uh, this turn indicator system actually features traction control, so. <laughs> you know what, you say that, and then I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what, I could see them working that in there. Yeah, it's like, got so this is, this is, this is your slide control, that's your TC right there. Uh, this is actually wheelie control back here. Yeah, that's oh, a really? very, it's a very advanced system. Yeah. One wonders why it's on a tail. Mm. But hey, it's yeah. the rear wheel it's for that's when, gonna it's, spin. It's for when you're dragging. It's it, this is actually the sensor for the wheelie. When you lift, <laughs> this is how it knows how far you need to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was it on the Hornet that I f***ing sliced off? You sliced off the uh, the headlight H4 plug. That's right. Yeah. That was dumb. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I watched it, I was like, no, <laughs> no. What was super funny about that was once I did it, I was like, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine to just 
plumb it back up. And then once I realized how difficult it would be to try to get that connector again to be how it was stock, I was like, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is some European bullshit right here. This is the turn signal situation. One high, one low, they're both different connectors as opposed to, I don't know, a Japanese bike that uses one plug for one turn signal. This is ridiculous. Now the UK boys will have you know that it's not technically a Euro problem, right? Because yeah. of Brexit. So the Europeans are like, that's on them. <laughs> that's a British problem. That's a British problem, that's not on us. It explains why it has to go into this stupid single connector though. This is, this is not good. Yeah. This is a whole situation. Those of you who are wondering out there, I have not gone soft on bullet connectors. I don't plan to reuse these. Uh, the problem we're encountering today is I don't have my soldering iron here. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to come back after, uh, we'll have to come back with it later and cut these off and then basically tap that in, which is the connector for the stock harness. Once I do that, we'll have a license plate light and it will be legal. So we have this little retention plate here, which all of these cables run through mm -hmm. and it'll mount up right there mm -hmm. and basically keep all of the wires going down one central channel. So it'll just look nice and neat. So I'm gonna get that all hooked up. Alrighty, Spite, we're here in the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't have it in my head, F <laughs> I want to make a joke. Um, treasure room, I guess, no. What am I trying to say? What are you trying to say? I don't know, What? that's the second day in a row where I'm like, what am I trying to say? <laughs> we're here looking at all the tail tidies on our bikes because I thought it'd be fun to do. We've officially done tail tidies on all three of our giveaway bikes now. And we've got a bit of a different take on each of them, I think. Um, so the XSR over here has the super minimal, you know, indicator delete, pretty much everything delete. And I think this one was the easiest one to install. What do you think? Yeah, no, we basically just ripped off all the old stuff and put on this new piece, plumbed it up, and then it was good to go. Yeah. Honestly, there was very little work going into this. We just, it came right off. Mm -hmm. It was kind of surprising how quickly that tail came off of that bike. Definitely, yeah. And then the Duke is kind of like, it's almost like you took the stock system and just hit it with the shrink ray. Yeah. Like it's it's a, it's technically still a tail tidy, but it's one of the most conservative tail tidies, I think. Yeah, I think the original one was about out to there. Yeah. And now we've basically just cut it in half almost. Mm -hmm. 
Everything's kind of shrunk. And then the Street Triples is that very traditional, like standard tail tidy. Mm -hmm. It's right under the light. It's all, you know, just one piece right here. Removed a lot more of it, but it's a little bit more aggressive than uh, something like the Duke. So. Again, tail tidy, super common mod that a lot of people like to do on their bikes, but you know, there is a little bit of nuance in the styles that you want. I'll be honest, this one, you know, I've been riding behind you in the XSR a couple of times. It is kind of hard to see sometimes. Like mm -hmm. the turn indicator, you really gotta be looking for it. It's visible, but you gotta be looking for it. Whereas these that utilize the stock system are gonna be a little bit more visible. Yeah, know? that's that's kind of the point of keeping your original indicators on here or getting them ready to accept an aftermarket indicator is so that you don't have just a minimal strip like this. Mm -hmm. This, while it is street legal here in Texas, in other states it might not be entirely legal. I do think, it, again, it is that kind of custom bike show, look at what we can do with this motorcycle piece. But I'm completely comfortable running this in Texas because I just love the look of it so much. Yeah, it's just so simple, so minimal, so clean. And another simple and minimal mod you could do, which I think Spite thinks is a little bit squid-like and we could talk about that, is uh, you can actually fit the plate underneath here. There are certain systems that will allow you to modify this whole thing and put a bracket and set the plate down here. Whether or not that's legal is a little bit up to you. You gotta see where you live and see how it works out. But uh, I used to run that on my Daytona and as a former reformed squid, um, yeah, it's uh, not exactly the legal thing to do there. Yeah, to me that just screams that all you wanna do is you wanna avoid tolls by popping wheelies at 55 miles an hour. Yep, or in my case, just bend it back and just uh, obfuscate your plate. Yep. Yeah, but the DRZ boys have a bit of a way of doing that too, right? Yeah, so there's, uh, one of the things that I struggled with when I was trying to make my DRZ street legal is finding a tail tidy that actually had the plate back here because I did want a little bit of mud flap protection back there. Uh, most of the time, it's literally right on top of the rear wheel, mm -hmm. which as you're riding, it just covers your plate in mud, and then you're, whenever the cop pulls you over, it's like, eh, it's still there, I just gotta wipe yep. it off. Just dust it off a little bit, and there's the plate. Yeah, I have seen many, many a DRZ boys running that setup, and I'm always looking, and I'm like, I can't read that plate at all, and I know that's what you want to happen, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's just absolute squid life. Absolutely. Yeah, so I think between all these tail tidies, you know, we've got some conservative options here. I think this is the more aggressive conservative option, and then this is really the more extreme option, uh, which, you know, we wanted to do a little bit different for the XSR because it is a sweet little bike. Mm -hmm. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this look at the tail tidies. Remember, we're giving away each of these motorcycles, so hit the link down below on yamenoob.co. Find out how you can join our community and sign up, or you can go to yamenoobmerch.com. Every dollar you spend gets you an entry to win each of these fantastic bikes. Also, if you go on yamenoob.co and sign up, you get access to our Discord server, and you can see the big bad bike we'll be revealing on May 15th. May 15th, it's a big day. Don't May miss 15th. it. May 15th. Catch you guys in the next one. See you later.